What's up, you guys? Hey, yep, we getting a little spray done this morning. Dan actually planted about 20 some acres of corn Saturday before it started raining and he had to knock off. But uh, yeah, I said, you know what? Let's have some beaver dam chat today. I'm actually in the field right over there to the right on MLK Day is where I tore out the four beaver dams and, and cleared out the COVID right there at that crossing. And then the mother beaver dam, like I was saying Friday, is on the opposite end of this field. So we definitely gonna uh, get an update of that, of that mother beaver dam number two when I get on that side of the field. But yeah, there was a few things I was wanting to talk with you guys about. Yeah, so y'all know also that we worked on the plan of Dan put some new uh, row cleaners and, and fertilizer injectors on there. And I'm looking out here at these rows and you really can't see very well where he planted at. <laughs> you definitely got to keep an eye out on the rows from last year, the soybean rows, to see where he was at because he didn't use the row markers. Uh, he used the road markers on the on the end rows here, but not going down the field. So, I'm, man, I, I hope I'm gonna be able to find the rows. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm supposed to be talking about beaver dam, right? Yeah. So let me get my thoughts together, <laughs> and uh, I figure out where I want to start at. Yeah, buddy, it's hard to see these rows going down the field. <laughs> Man, but anyway, yeah, so do you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys saw the video from Saturday where I saw that huge beaver dam. Man, that thing was massive, you guys. And you know what? Somebody commented and said that a beaver dam like that at the culvert, if there comes a big rain and that dam busts loose, it can wash the road out. And so I was like, man, that's a uh, that's a good reason to go and tear it out. But see, that dam is like 22 miles from the house. And I don't know any of the landowners over there. So it would be for me to have to do all of that to tear out that dam. And of course, I got to count my rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, we turn in here. Um, so I would have to go through that to tear out that dam, but that's a good enough reason to tear out that dam. I was thinking maybe it could help, that dam was helping something, but you know what? Like I said, I thought about it, and I got to thinking about, there was a road that washed out in 2016 after Hurricane Matthew, and I, I thought about it. I said, you know what? I think there might have been a beaver dam there that got washed out because of all the rain and it destroyed the road. Matter of fact, I still got the video from when I was riding with some buddies. I was riding four wheelers and we stopped by and checked it out. I'm gonna put that video right here. Did you guys see that? That was so crazy when I saw it, man. I mean, unbelievable how that road was destroyed. And so like I said, I, I just thought about that and how he said it could wash the road out. I think, I truly believe that there was a beaver dam there because if you look like out where the dead trees were, that's exactly how land looks whenever it's been flooded by a beaver dam. And so I was like, you know what? That's probably what happened there. And you know, it, it's giving me great encouragement <laughs> to want to go and tell that beaver dam. <laughs> so man, oh man, you guys, y'all know y'all be y'all be motivating me, 
big time to go chow the damn. <laughs> but that's a that's a long drive to go do that though, man. But anyway, I thought that was interesting, you know, that video and how I remembered that. And so I got some other news concerning Beaver Dam equipment. Y'all know I did the video early Saturday. And guess what? When I was heading back to the house, walking down my ATV trail, there was, I guess, a, a sticky briar or a sticky thorn that was sticking up in the middle of the trail, right? And now that stuff is turning green, I guess it's more tough. But anyway, it caught, it caught a hold to the leg on my chest waders and ripped the daggone hole on my leg on the chest waders, you guys. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. After I just left out of all them thorns trying to get to the beaver dam, I tear the chest waders walking down the ATV trail. <laughs> but I thank God that brother Eric and sister Tina, not too long ago, got me another pair of chest waders. Y'all remember that video? Yes, they got me a spare pair of chest waders, you guys. And so, I'm grateful for that. I gotta count these rolls, cause I, I'm looking at the boom over there in the, in the trees. I don't wanna hit the trees over there. Yeah, so you guys, I'm just so grateful that Brother Eric and Sister Tina got me that spare pair of chest waders because now they got to be put to use. I get to show them off. <laughs> I like the design of them. Sort of like the camouflage, man. That's pretty sick. I like the first pair as well. Hey, they were serving the purpose. Keeping the water off of my clothes and off of my body. So that's, that's the main thing. I'm not complaining one bit. <laughs> yes, indeed. So I guess I'll... I'll be heading to the uh, the Mother Beaver Dam in, in just a little bit when I get these end rolls knocked out. I'll stop by while I'm doing the end rolls in the next field. For inquiring minds, the field to the right is not ours. <laughs> That's the Cotton Man field. That guy, he grows almost basically nothing but cotton. And he has thousands and thousands, thousands of acres of cotton. I guess he hasn't sprayed it yet. Of course, you can see how ours is nice and clean over here. Uh, I'm looking over here and uh, it appears to be Dan had to diss some ruts out in some places because it's always wet on this side of the field. And like I was saying, we're getting, uh, we're getting close to the entrance for the mother beaver dam number two, which is on this side of the field. Let's see, turn in here. Yeah, we're getting closer. We're getting closer here, guys. We're coming up on it. <laughs> I ain't been over here in so long, I guess I remember where it's at. Stuff starting to turn green. Okay, I think it's, yeah, it's right right through there looks sort of dry just through the woods even let's see let's take a peek This is not normally where I enter in at, that's for sure. Looking at all the thorns. But we're gonna get through. Yes, we are. And like I said, I didn't see much water through the woods. And it's still, still quite dry, you guys. Thank the Lord. <laughs> see they have not been oh i'm lying i think i'm lying but this you see how it looks out here i'm looking up ahead that's why i said i think i'm lying because i think i see some sticks i think i see where they rebuilt maybe they just haven't had enough rain water yeah they've rebuilt a little you guys yes they have just a little bit not enough to hold a whole bunch of water back there like 
before. Y'all know all of that was full of water. This is just a little bit of action, not much. Okay, so we know we got to deal with here. Let's uh, get back to spraying it. Looks like it's being held up that way, but you know I ain't going that way. This is not that time. But I say we did a good job, you guys. What you think? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get on out of here. So that definitely wasn't much action there at that mother beaver dam number two. I guess they start slowing down after a while after you keep tearing it down. I know that normally they have it built right back up. I mean like fully built, not just partially, but fully built. But we giving them we're giving them all some competition, you guys. <laughs> we are giving them some competition. I asked Dan earlier when we be getting stuff moved over here. I said, did you leave me room around the edge of the field to get my four-wheeler over to the mother beaver now? He said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking at this end of the field here. And uh, I, think, I think I got room to get by. I got room to get by because this is going to be corn. So the way it looks right now, it ain't gonna look like this forever. It's gonna be like a, a a forest out here. It's gonna be some tall corn where you can't see across the field like you can see across it right now. Might get scary coming back in here. <laughs> and yet another thing, you guys. So, man, I tell you what, man. God is just so awesome. I, I, I'm just so grateful, you know, for all of you guys who watch. All of you guys who comment, who encourage me, all of you guys who give. Man, I just got blessed again last night by a YouTube subscriber. I'm gonna put it to you like this. I won't, I'm not gonna tell you the amount, but I'll tell you this. If you haven't watched the series of me tearing out the mother beaver dam number one then you need to you can go watch it and get an idea <laughs> of how good God has blessed because in one of those videos I spoke about my asthma oh glory to God thank you Jesus I spoke about my asthma medication and how much it costs and I just put it like this this brother blessed me where I could take care of some asthma medication. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Michael, oh God, I'm getting stirred up again. I was messaging him last night. I told him, man, I was, I was moved to tears again because, oh man, let me count my rolls. Wait a minute. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Y'all know I spray 22 rolls, man. But oh my goodness, you guys. Ah, I, I just, words can't even explain, man. You guys are just really blowing my mind with how the Lord is leading you to, to bless the ministry of the YouTube page, the YouTube channel, man. I am so grateful. God, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Man, Brother Michael, I thank you. Oh, glory. See, I, I keep getting quick and just thinking about it, man. God is a provider. He's a provider. Just when you think that there's no way, he makes a way. Glory to God. Out of no way. Don't get me to preaching on here. Man, oh, man. I, I'm just so grateful for all of you. For all of you. All of you, man, oh man, I thank God. I'm just happy in my spirit right now, you guys. Yeah, I told you, I told you I had some beaver dam talk today. A lot, a lot of topics today. <laughs> yes, indeed, man. And while I'm speaking of being grateful for all of you guys and how you, whatever you do, whether you give, or whether you send gifts, or just simply watch or comment, let us continue 
to keep Brother Will in prayer. Brother Will is the one who got me the potato rake that I'm using now. The awesome heavy duty potato rake that I'm using now. He, pur he purchased that for me. Let's continue to keep him in prayer health wise. Brother Will, lift that name up in prayer whenever you pray, okay? He got me, he got me the, the potato rake. He got me the gloves that I use. He got me a phone uh, water protected case I can put my phone in. Man, I tell you, you guys, you guys are something else. <laughs> I appreciate you all. Yes, indeed. So, Brother Will, let's continue to keep him lifted in prayer, you guys. And so, as I finish up this field, I'm going to also wrap up this video. Um, like I said, we've discussed a few beaver dam matters on today. <laughs> and... Uh, I was just thinking about, you know, how we're putting corn seed in the ground now. You know, the Bible says that which a man sows, that shall he also reap. Of course, whenever you sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. We can't come out here and put just a tiny bit of seed in the ground and expect a great harvest. No, we got to put the right amount of seed where it's spaced out the right distance, where it's got the right amount of nitrogen and fertilizer, and where it's kept clean so that you can create a, a good harvest. So, I don't know if you remember, some of you might be new to the channel, but I tore out the beaver dams at the ponds in January of this year, and the Lord has spoke to us, you know, that we'll be in a season of of receiving a season of blessings and I tell you what God has been blessing me I'm just so grateful like I was just speaking a few minutes ago there you know God has been blessing me and I'm, I'm just so grateful for it I'm in that season of receiving I'm not saying that I'm not in a season of giving of course not <laughs> we're always to give and give cheerfully but I just thank God, you know, that, you know, at this point of life, this season of life, that God is, you know, touching you guys' heart to bless me and my wife during such a time as this. And I believe that also that you guys will be walking in those same blessings as you give. So, hey, pray that you have enjoyed the video on today. We got to work on some beaver dams, you guys. We got some more daylight, so maybe if I don't work, you know, too long, I can get a little bit knocked out after work sometime. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> In the meantime, you guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.